Hello everyone, my name is Anirudh and today I'm here to talk to you about a new product that we're launching. But first, let's talk about some of the problems that arise when building intelligent chatbots. Well, for one, the entire process of training an NLP model is a very repetitive and manual effort. You need to think ahead of time of how your users are going to mention certain things, ask certain queries, and add that to your training. But it's not just that. After going live as well, there are things that don't work, and you need to constantly monitor these conversations and add them back to training. So this whole process becomes very repetitive and manual. Um, and of course, it's a very time-consuming process as well that takes several weeks to achieve a certain level of accuracy. And lastly, let's not forget that while all of this process is happening, your users are having a really bad experience interacting with your bot because things that they're typing or speaking is simply not getting identified by your bot. And ultimately, the bot ends up giving some sort of a, I don't know what you're saying kind of answer. Well, this is not going to be the case anymore because today I'm excited to introduce Yellow AI Dynamic NLP. This breakthrough is designed to cut short the go-to-market timeline by multiple weeks and automate conversations with a top-notch accuracy rate. And this technology, the Yellow AI Dynamic NLP, is built on a cutting-edge concept called zero-shot learning that completely changes the game for enterprises by eliminating the lengthy process of manually labeling data for training these chatbots. So this engine comes with a pre-trained model and unsupervised learning that works right out of the box and makes it easier for enterprises to deploy dynamic AI agents instead of these old school chatbots. Now let's dive into a product demo and I'll show you how this works. Okay, so in a traditional setup, the idea is that we add intents over here for all the things that we would want to detect. And for each intent, we need to add some amount of utterances over here. And what happens is when you hit the train button, the NLP engine or the NLP model in the back end would consume these training utterances that you've provided and learn how to detect these in production. So let's give that a shot. Let's add a new intent here. And let's call it apply for a car loan. Um, and the idea is that we this intent will basically detect anytime a user says something along the lines of wanting to apply for a car loan. Okay, let's go ahead and add this intent. Let's go ahead and hit train intents over here. And while that happens, let's go over to the flows section. And in flows, what we'll do is we will connect this intent to a particular flow. And the reason we do that is because once the bot detects that the user is saying that they want to apply for a car loan, we would want to show some sort of a message to the user, right? We'll keep it simple for the sake of this demo, but you can, you can connect very complex flows here to hit APIs, to fetch things from a database, whatever it may be. But for now, we'll keep it very simple. We'll just show this message Sure, let me help you apply for a card loan. All right. Now that this model is trained, we can give it a shot. So keep in mind that this bot is still using the traditional ML engine. Uh, OK, let's go ahead and try typing something here. Let's say apply for a car loan. And of course, that works, right? Uh, let's try a small variation of this. Let's try, I need to apply for a car loan. And that works as well, right? But here's the catch. This is not how your users will probably type something like this in production, right? They will type different variations, different, uh, you know, sentence structures, so on and so forth. And we would want our bot to detect those as well, right? Now let's try something a little bit different. Let's try, can I buy this car on installments?
and the bot fails to understand it. Right? Let's try something a little bit different. Let's say, can I uh, get financing options for this car? And it still fails. It says, I think you're looking for something I cannot help you with. And this is fundamentally the problem with a traditional NLP engine, because you need to think ahead of time of how your users are going to interact with your bot, how are they going to you know, type certain things, how are they going to speak certain things, and add those into training way ahead of time, right? You need to do that before your bot goes live. Um, but what needs to happen after a bot goes live? Well, you need to constantly monitor these things, right? So in this case, for example, if a user came and typed something like this and it didn't work, you would have to take this utterance, go back to your intents page and add it to training. Let's do that right now. Let's copy this utterance. Let's go back to the NLU section. And now I'm going to go ahead and add this here. Okay, I'm gonna hit train. Okay, so it's done training over here. Let's go ahead and add this, uh, try this in the bot, my bad. So let's say financing options available for cars. And now it works, right? So this is the complex process when I meant it's repetitive and manual, right? You will have to keep track of how your conversations are going on, understand which ones are not working, uh, you know, find out which intent should have been uh, actually triggered or detected over here, right? In this case, we just have a single intent called apply for a car loan. But let's say you've got 30, 40, 50 different use cases. You have, you know, a, a plethora of things that are not working that you'd have to um, constantly keep a track of, label it, and add it back to the right intent, whichever one of the 40 it was supposed to detect, right? Now, let me show you how this process is much easier with the dynamic NLP engine. Now let me show you how easy and simple this process is with dynamic NLP. Okay, so we I have the same setup over here and we're gonna redo everything that we tried earlier. Only difference, this time the bot has dynamic NLP applied. So let's go ahead and add a new intent. We'll use the same intent that we used earlier, which is apply for a car loan. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add this intent, hit train, and then just as before, go to flows and connect this flow to that intent. All right, fantastic. Let's go ahead and try this in the bot. All right, now let's try this in the bot. We'll try the simple ones just as before, apply for a car loan, and this works, right? Uh, let's try a slightly different variation. I need to apply for a car loan, and that works as well, right? Now let's try the ones that did not work with the other traditional NLP engine, right? Um, can I apply, can I get a car on installments? Nice, this time it's working, right? Let's try, um, can I get this car on an EMI, right? And that works as well, awesome. Let's try, is it possible to get some financing options for this car? And that works as well, right? Great. Now, let's go back and just have a look at how we trained this model, right? We just added the intent, right? And no training utterances added over here, as you can see, right? So why does this work? Well, the reason is because dynamic NLP is, the entire model is trained with billions of conversations, and these are real world conversations, right? Um, and because of this, the model is aware of all of the different syntactic variations and uh, you know, all of the different ways in which a user types something, right? So that when you add the intent name and simply the intent name here in the NLU section, 
the dynamic NLP engine is able to automatically pick up all of the different variations which your user might type in production and relate it to this particular intent, right? So in short, and as soon as you add the name of the intent and take the spot live, anytime a user types something, the dynamic NLP engine does an unsupervised search and it tries to find the closest match to one of the intents that you have uh, added to your bot and then trigger that particular flow, right? So that's really the power of dynamic NLP. Okay, so now let me show you something a little bit different, right? We're gonna go ahead and add one more intent. We're going to call it apply for a bike loan. Okay, so it's the same thing, except this time we have got two intents now. We've got car and bike loan. Okay, uh, I'm going to hit train as before. We'll go to the flows section. And in flows, I have another flow over here. Uh, same thing, except that this is now a flow for applying for a bike loan. Right. And we'll connect the bike loan intent to this particular flow. Okay. Let's go ahead and try this in the bot now. Okay, but I'm going to type something a little bit ambiguous, a little bit, um, you know, not clear. And let's see what happens. I'm going to say, is there any loan available? And bear in mind, uh, you know, that I've not mentioned whether it's a car or a bike loan over here. All right? It's just, I'm just asking if there's any loan available. Um, and let's see what happens now. Okay, so the model has detected that there is some uncertainty or some ambiguity in this particular sentence. The user has not mentioned whether they want a car or a bike. Right? So what dynamic NLP does in this case is it understands that there is some ambiguity, that some uncertainty in the way that the sentence is, is typed out or spoken. And it finds the closest match to this particular sentence and offers um, suggestions to the user, right? And keep in mind that we had three intents actually, right? The book of test right did not come here, obviously, because this is not related to this particular sentence that a user has typed, right? So now, when a user clicks on this one, right? Suppose I wanted a bike loan, it just says, all right, let me get you started with the bike loan application. Essentially, it triggers that particular flow. So in this way, you've also got a very smart fallback um, in, in the cases where things are a little bit ambiguous, things are a little bit uncertain. And you know how people type in, in bots, right? There's always going to be some ambiguity because um, this is more conversational in nature. And this sort of uh, relevant suggestion shown to the user just makes it more easier for your users to also find the right flow and uh, get a much better experience in general. So in short, the dynamic NLP engine is basically trained on billions of conversation data, such that just by adding the intent name in the NLU section, your bot can automatically start understanding all of the different variations and you know, uh, sentence structures that your users might type into your bot and then trigger a particular flow. All of this without adding any training data whatsoever. And folks, that brings us to the end of this demo. Um, if you'd like to contact us, please feel free to do so. We would love to show you how Dynamic NLP applies to your use cases. And we look forward to collaborating you with your intelligent business automation journey. Thank you.